Hello everyone, my name is Adriana Hernandez and the topic of my project is high-risk Kauai disparities in cancer care among Native Hawaiians and Pacific Islanders. So I'm going to get right into it. The abstract, what inspired this project was the statistic that Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islanders have the highest mortality rates of all ethnic groups residing in the state of Hawaii. The category of my capstone is a research project and I'm gonna be using the abbreviation NHPI a lot throughout the presentation and it stands for Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander. Just a little bit of background on the Native Hawaiian Pacific Islander group. In 1997, NHPI officially became a distinct racial group only allowing for a 25 year window of research. And before this, all research has been considered unreliable because they were considered, they were, counted into the Asian demographic. So determinants of health. Number one, we have genetics and biology. Number two, we have healthcare. And then we have health behaviors. Uh, number four, social environment. And number five, physical environment. Throughout this presentation, I'm mainly gonna be focusing on clinical prevention, care access, uh, and social environment. So situational analysis and what is really going on. Uh, the study that I mainly found the most interesting was the Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islander National Health Interview Survey. This survey was conducted by the National Center of Health Statistics in 2014. And when it is one of the most mostly used data sets that is um, implemented into other literary research articles only because it is the main and most in-depth research article that I encountered. I'm not sure if, it, if I wasn't looking for enough, but there's only a few health statistics that are available for this particular population and even smaller um, group of data sets available for the cancer research. Another scary statistic that I encountered was that in Hawaii from 2013 to 2015, Native Hawaiians had the highest mortality rate for all types of cancer as compared to the white demographic in the state. I also realized that in the Office of Minority Health, there is extremely outdated data, which I expected to have outdated data dating back to even 1998, which is really frightening. So there is currently three already established foundations that want to address the issue that I'm trying to bring awareness to. One of them being the UH College of Public Health focused research. They actually carried out their own research with smaller variables, focusing on the Asian demographic and the Native Hawaiian demographic. They came to the conclusion that Native Hawaiians in Hawaii have a shorter life expectancy compared with other racial and ethnic populations in the state. And then we also have the University of Hawaii Cancer Center that has the specific, specifically established for cancer, Pacific Island Partnership for Cancer Health Equity. It collaborates with local networks to promote health equality and accessibility to all minorities, specifically Native Hawaiians. And then we have the U.S. Department, Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islander subgroups. And then we also have the U.S. Department of Human Health and Human Services Office of Minority Health, which I think we could benefit of. I did plenty of research on what it takes to, um, I guess, apply for funding and grant access. One of the ones that I was very interested in is the framework to address health disparities through collaborative policy efforts. I think if we all bring in con uh, contribution, we could apply for funding for the state and potentially make a small difference to this large issue. So implementation, obviously the pro priority focus is the NHPI and bringing awareness to cancer healthcare, specifically because they suffer from high rates of cancer and overall high mortality rates. 
Our primary intervention would be increased prevention education, whether it be in the classroom workforce or even in the healthcare settings before any appointments. Secondary intervention would be advocating for updated health survey on NHPI profile because it's extremely absurd that most of the data dates back to 2000 or like 20 years ago and the last conducted in-depth research for this particular minority was in 2014, as well as applying for funding uh, for the OMH grant solutions, which will enable access through funding for existing advocates and hopefully we can make a change to this existing local issue. So in conclusion, there is limited inclusion of this minority group of myomedical studies, causing outdated statistics and lack of understanding of the current research. This seemingly is a social issue, but it is also a biomedical and public health issue. And if we can all come together to apply for funding, I think we can actually make a difference in decreased statistics of cancer cases and mortalities among Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islander subgroups. If you have any questions, please let me know after the presentation. And thank you for joining me in my project.